Good afternoon. Happy day for Africa. Salamu alaikum. <laughs> and shalom. <laughs> okay. I'm here to speak today. It's not the first time. It happened several, several times. Many thanks for those behind UPF. 11 years ago, I will never forget Mr. Cardinal Lanz. And we met together and he said, um, we spoke about what I have done for charity, school for disabled, by concert. I didn't have any money. But I am very capable to work for the money and I can get them. In one month, I got all the singers and we built a school for disabled for Greek and in Greece. And they were Orthodox and I'm Muslim. I thought about them, the school is doing very well now. That's what I grew up in Greece. I found that I should give the country you grow up, give a gift. Because when you leave, you leave something behind you. People remember you. 40 years, I went 16 years old to Greece with a scholarship to study medicine and to see this Greek history, great history. No Africans at that time. They were all in maritime sailors, something like this, in Perios area. But we were alone. We decided to do the African Day as students, the African Union. And we made something for Africa solidarity. I'm here happy because this is continuing since I was 16, 17, 18, and now. I don't want to say how old I am. <laughs> but what matters that my heart is still the same heart of the 1718. Um, let us go to the most important points. I'm very sorry to speak about Sudan in such circumstances. A country, a country very, very, very beautiful with two rivers, the Blue Nile there and the White Nile. Nice people, nice civilization of 2,500 before Christ. We, our civilization was before Egypt. You know the pyramids, you know the Sphinx, you know Tutankhamun, but Africa, it started from Ethiopia and Sudan and then Egypt. And then after that, it went to the Mediterranean and there is a civilization in Africa. We are not jungle, it's, there is a civilization. And I thank you in UPF when you sent me to a Congress in Malta. And I said, are you sure you want me to represent UPF England? They said the subject is sensitive. It is, does Europe, uh, do Europe need Africa or Africa need, needs Europe? That was a very sensitive thing to talk. And I spoke there and I believe that in Africa, we don't need Europe. You need to be united without selfishness. And this is true. We have, we have no good governments, bad governance. And because of that, everybody wants to grow his children, go to England, go to Germany, go to study there, be a doctor, come back, make money. That is selfishness. And we, we continue to be selfish. And now this is what we reach in, in Sudan, selfishness, because we got gold. I wish we don't have gold. We got the gold, two military, the vice president and the president are fighting each other. One is going to give gold to Putin and the others want to give gold to the Emirates and the poor people are poor and poor and poor. I wanted to go to my country, I can't have a chance to go. With all my experience, I work for media, and I travel everywhere. I put myself to sacrifice for Africa, and that's why I travel from place to another to help and to assist with the Red Cross. 
they are grateful, the Hellenic Red Cross. And actually, many thanks again to UPF. They gave me the opportunity, and I asked also always permission. I went, when I saw people stranded in Ukraine with different religions, outside, no trains to take them, no buses to take them, children there. I said, what do we have? I asked my wife, what do we have in the account? Let us take the money, and I'm going there. She said, you are mad. <laughs> you are mad. You are going. I said, I went four times to Africa with military aircraft to help the people in Africa. This is time to, to Ukraine to see an African there to help them. And I traveled with the Red Cross of Greece and with the help of UPF, letters, they didn't want to take things because they are scared, who are you, what is this? But at the end, we managed. I went with the convoy, I arrived to Romania, and the Romanian authority, you are coming from Africa? What, what are you doing here? I said, I'm coming, that is at the airport, coming to help. Okay, what, what are you? I said, I'm a, I'm a medical man, at the same time, I'm a media person, but I am ambassador of peace, and I'm coming here to help. I was proud to say, proud. And the military in the, the airport, he said, ambassador of peace, you have also paper from the Red Cross? I said, yes. Immediately, the passport. I went, and then the other airplane was delayed for me. It was 15 below zero. I never been 15 below zero. And I have to change shoes, I have to change clothes. But I said, the mission is to is important and is for the, to save other people. I went there and I want to attract the Greek. There is an ancient food. You don't believe it. Nobody knows it. But in the hospital in Greece, I knew it is called trachanas. And this trachanas is made of wheat, yogurt, and it's a fantastic soup. I saw it in after when you when, after the surgery, there is a recovery time. They all take the trachanas. It's a protein, rich protein, nobody knows. Then I said to the Greek, I want your trachanas. So we took the trachanas, the Greek got mad in the radio saying our trachanas in Ukraine. That is how you attract people. That is how the people love you. I, I get in a taxi now in Athens and they say, are you the man who went from your voice? Are you the man who had been in Ukraine? I say, yes. Wow, you are great. I don't want money, don't pay me. That's it, that's it. No, I say, I pay you. But be, be with me, be with me. Sorry to take the time of all. I have to speak about Sudan condition now. We have the trachanas ready, and it is very cheap. 500 drum costs you three euro, okay? Two pounds, something. Yeah, I don't find people to pay for me the container, which is 15,000 euro. <laughs> And you know one thing, if this container go to Sudan, 100,000 people will eat from it for about one month. I, 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 I know my statistic about it. The 500 drum, I think, who had been with me, uh, Siulin, Lance, we cooked it together. We cooked the trachanas in Croydon. Together, we gave it to all people, members, and they tried, and every time in the queue, can I have more? I remember <laughs> uh, Oliver Twist, and <laughs> can I have more? And that's it, because it is delicious. So now we, are, we want to give protein, we want to give the trachanas. What do you mix with it? It's a powder, you put it in water. So what we want, a big, you know in Africa, big, big, big pots, and the water, with the water, and then hot, and the queue from here up to Hyde Park, they can, we, can, we can give them two sacks, will be from here up to Hyde Park. We will feed them. You will feed them. Thank you. Ending the hospital condition is terrible. 80% of the hospitals collapsed. And that is true. We don't have anything. We don't have dripped. We don't have masks, we don't have gloves, and it is really a tragic, tragic situation. Doctors are not paid, they said, okay, I have a nephew now in the border of Egypt, 
Because his father is suffering, they took them all. They attacked their houses. They took them all on the desert five days. My cousin passed away yesterday because he couldn't afford with his kidney to travel five, day, five days. Anyway, it is tragic and I can say to you, the situation needs your help, needs me, needs you, 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 and you. And, <laughs> and then we come to the WFO. We have to link ourselves with the United Nations and to work with them. Because if I take any, anything from here and I take it to Sudan, they will steal it. There are selfish people to come and it will disappear. So we have to work Red Cross, which is in the Islamic is Red Crescent. And with, at the same time, we have to work with the WFO or the FAO. And I have already made contacts and told them UPF is welcoming. They want to send, but they want to make sure it is delivered to the right people. This is very important. And finishing with that, I want to say ready trachanas, pasta, lentils, milk, powdered, and um, the hospital will work again because from China we found that we can have drips, we can have a lot of things with no profit. So they are ready to fly anywhere. But why China? 80% of the hospitals of the United States, they got the PPI from China. And here, also NHS, China. Just check the boxes they have made in China. I have good relation with China. I don't want anything. I am volunteer. The people, we need a committee. We contact them. They send everything. It goes under UPF. And the last thing I need to say, we forgot the animals. We have no animal food. How can, if we return, if democracy return, if peace return, we don't have animals, the animals are dying. People are dying, the animals are dying. We need animal food. And I managed to talk to Romania, and Romania is going to give animal food, but also under the cost of there. So I made several contacts, because you can't, you can't say to, okay, United Nations, give me this, Okay, okay, Red Cross, give me that. But you have to be going there with your agenda, ready, this is here. One thing is very, very critical. Uh, they are telling me that to finish quickly. Okay, uh, the very, very important, so please give me one minute more. Very important thing is the logistic. This is very important. We don't have airplanes, all the airports are demolished. Only the airport of Port Sudan. And in this case, we have an airplane going tomorrow for the first time from Greece. We have a space on this airplane, free of charge to transfer food and stuff, but we want to go next week when we organize it well with UPF and we get the final approval. Friends will help. And at the end of that, we can see the film there. I just want to see there is a film. And uh, just please, is this, in, it is very important, very important, it's only three minutes. In this film, you, you dance with it like this, and you say we stop the war. Please, just two minutes, because we work on it, we prepare this film, it shows everything. Can I have two minutes of you, please? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Music. That is the sign, stop the war. That is Khartoum. Khartoum today, destroyed. All civilians, they kill them by airplane. Then you move from this side to this side. That when I tell you stand up, okay? Yes, you know what you will do. It's another two minutes to finish. <laughs> Khartoum, 
Khartoum, the beautiful town. Rudwan Paradise, but we are missing you, Khartoum, now. In all my life, I never seen such a beauty, two rivers together. Khartoum to Egypt now. They are going in buses. And those selfish, selfish people, the ticket is only $50, and now they are asking them $500 to go to Egypt by bus. Five days on the desert, no water. Now, here for the peace we are living for the peace and i think we will die for the peace as well really yeah nobody we are here to celebrate but yes our life is here we live for the peace and we will die for the peace i i would like to sorry never mind these medals are from the European Sudanese. Every Sudanese in Europe, in Germany, in France, in Italy, in Greece, they know about UPF London, they know about their efforts, they are awarding them today. So it's here. This Sudanese, I need Margaret Ali, I need Marshall, I need... Sorry, I'm so emotional. All my family in the desert going to Egypt. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Sure. Thank you for the letter for the Red Cross. And you deserve this medal. Yeah. <laughs> Margaret Ali, here in Lancaster Gate. <laughs> the mother of all and the sister of all. Shukran. Shukran. You had been amazing in all congresses. We went Malta, Geneva, where? Everywhere you are there, <laughs> and you are giving your heart. Yes. Thank you. Margaret, thank, thank you very thank much you. from the Sudanese of Europe. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you very much. Now you can hold. And now, I would like to speak about the person who brought me to UPF 11 years ago, Dr. Lance Gardner. Gardner. <laughs> South East London. Croydon, we met mayors, we met people of that area. I am in London Docklands, but I travel every celebration of Christmas. No matter what you believe, <laughs> Christmas for all. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. 
And Cecilia is not here. Cecilia, please. Please praise Cecilia. Please. Yeah. Yay! Cecilia is a wonderful person. She, she is wonderful, wonderful and her person. husband is great, Franklin. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I miss him here today. But thank you for every cooking, every tea, every coffee. You were everywhere. <laughs> not only the speeches, but you were there to show who you are. She's a very and very then this is from person. Sudanese uh, of Europe. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm honored. Okay. 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 The last one, for a person who is not here, he's, he had been, he lived in Rhodesia, north, which is Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. I want Zimbabwe. to say, I know, I had been elected in Zimbabwe as a journalist of Africa vice president. In Harare, I went Balawaya, I went everywhere. I love your country. So, and uh, this, you, your father-in-law, Mr. Gardner, couldn't make it today because he met his wife who passed away at the River Nile in Egypt, in Africa. They were a great couple. She passed away. I wish him a good recovery. And please transfer this. It shows the dove and here, Every, every medal has the olive tree. Thank you very much. Sorry for your time. I thank you. Can we have one photograph? Yeah. In the middle, please.